welcome to episode 10 of No Time for Trivia. I'm your host, Justin Cohn. We've got 10 questions of general knowledge trivia coming right up now. Question one, what are the five boroughs of New York City? What are the five boroughs of New York City? That's Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Staten Island. The most populated borough with about 2.6 million residents is Brooklyn. Question two, what is Germany's national airline? What is Germany's national airline? Lufthansa. The name and logo of Lufthansa can be traced back to the formation of Deutsche Lufthansa in 1926. 1926 for an airline. Seems early to me. Wow. Question three. What is the collective noun for a group of unicorns? What is the collective noun for a group of unicorns? That's called a blessing. A blessing is a group of unicorns. Do you know what you call a group of unicorns? Pretending to be cows? A blessing in disguise. Question four. What were the code names of any two of the beaches used in the D-Day landings of World War II? What are the code names of any two of the beaches used in the D-Day landings? They were Gold, Juno, Omaha, Sword, and Utah. Almost 133,000 troops from the United States, the British Commonwealth, and their allies landed on those beaches, well, at least with those code names, in Normandy, France, on June 6, 1944. Question 5. Lithium is a key element in the production of batteries. Which country has the largest reserves of lithium? Which country has the largest reserves of lithium? Australia. Australia is the world's biggest supplier of lithium with production from hard rock mines. Argentina, Chile, and China mainly produce it from salt lakes. Question six. What does QR stand for in QR code? What does QR stand for in QR code? Quick response. Quick response. I don't know if I always get a quick response from them, but okay. QR codes were developed in 1994 by the Japanese corporation Denso Wave to track automobile parts during the assembly process. Okay, question seven. In darts, what is the highest score achievable from a single dart. In darts, what is the highest score you can get with just a single dart? Sixty. You can get sixty. This is achieved by successfully hitting the triple twenty thingy. Square. Sector. Target? I don't know. Question eight. Where is America's Stonehenge located? Where is America's Stonehenge located? America's Stonehenge is a privately owned tourist attraction and archaeological site in Salem, New Hampshire. It was recently in the news for being vandalized by a QAnon follower. I don't think it has quite the majesty of the original Stonehenge. But you know, I shouldn't knock it until I visit it. Question 9. What is the scientific term for the process by which life first appeared? What is the scientific term for the process by which life first appeared? A biogenesis or abiogenesis. In biology, a biogenesis or the origin of life is the natural process by which life has arisen from non living matter, such as simple organic compounds. Last question, question 10. What was the name of the treaty that formally ended World War I? What's the name of the treaty that formally ended World War I? That was the Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles was signed by Germany and the Allied Nations on June 28, 1919, 
formally ending World War I. The terms of the treaty require that Germany pay financial reparations, disarm, lose territory, and give up all of its overseas colonies. Well, there you have it, folks. 10 questions, again, done and dusted. How did you do? I did uh, I did well, but I have all the, uh, the answers right in front of me. So if you want to submit a question or a suggestion, send it over to hello at notimefortrivia.com. And if we select your question, we'll give you a shout out on the show. Thanks for listening to No Time for Trivia. Please subscribe and leave a great review over on Apple Podcasts. It's a really big help. This is Justin Cohn reminding you that just showing up is 80% of success. The other 50% is math. <laughs>